Hello, mate. How are you? Welcome back. That's just me assuming that you've been here before. You watch these videos every month, and if you have, thank you. I appreciate it. I genuinely appreciate it. I've noticed as soon as it snows, I tend to go out and shoot a lot more videos out and about in the snow. I've come to the realization that it's because I just don't like green on photo or in video. And snow just naturally covers that up, so... I tend to do a lot more shooting in the winter, in the freezing cold, when I have to bundle up, opposed to the summer, where we just complain about how hot it is and try and find some AC and just end up shooting inside anyway. We are full winter vibes ahead. I think I started the last one like this too, but we're in it now, the thick of it. The white stuff is here to stay for the next three months or so at least. There was a while where we'd get like five centimeters. 10 centimeters, and then the next day it'd be warm and it would all melt, and then it'd come back again. So this video probably looks all over the place, because there's some that has snow, some that doesn't have snow, and that's why. These freeze and thaw cycles that we're going through. I realized, having gone and watched a few of these again recently, that I talk about the weather a lot, and the temperature. And that's small talk, isn't it? And in general, I'm not a fan of small talk. I, I really don't like it. It's a very British thing to talk about the weather when it comes to small talk but I think it's because it really does affect how you feel throughout the day and if you wake up with crappy weather it puts you in a bad mood for the day but if you wake up with good weather it puts you in a good mood for the day so it can really affect how you feel I think that's why I tend to talk about it so much I'm trying to get the kids to be into sledding as much as I am and we've been in the search for the perfect vessel to propel yourself down an icy, snowy hill with as fast as you possibly can. And I think we found it, and it is a snow tube. Tried sleds, tried the magic carpets, been through everything, got far too many sleds for our little family. But the snow tube is where it's at, basically the same ones that you get pulled with on the water during the summer by boat. And they last well. I genuinely thought that they would rip and tear pretty easy, but I've got one now that's been going on over a year. It's actually been pumped up since last winter. It never went down. It's so lazy to say, isn't it? But it never went down throughout the summer. Ready? Just stayed inflated in the back of the garage. Probably saw it in a couple of old videos. And it's still kicking. Still growing great. Been on it again this year. Been watching uh, a lot of TikTok. A lot of TikTok. And I know it gets a lot of hate, but I enjoy it. If you want a little bit of entertainment, a little bit of mindless scrolling. But I found I learn a lot of stuff on there as well, like little random useless facts, which sometimes I do have to go and fact check, I will say that. But also for life hacks and recipes, baking recipes. There's a ton of them right now on TikTok, depending on what their magical algorithm feeds you. I've been trying out some baking, some recipes I've seen, which look pretty tasty. I just want to see, well, that looks great. I want to try making that. Is it easy? It is. Perfect. Click on it, get that recipe. Give it a go. I've also been cooking my regular Christmas things that I cook around this time of year. Passed down through the family. Cheese straws, that's a big one. Actually, I don't know how to describe a cheese straw. What is it? It's like a pastry that has cheese in it, on it. It's a little bit spicy, a little bit of cayenne pepper in there. They're great. Everybody loves them. Got me thinking, though. You probably have traditions inside your family, things that you cook that get passed down. Imagine if you just stopped cooking them. You didn't pass those things down to, to your kids or to someone else in your family. Just it up. just ceased to exist. That inside family recipe, just gone. Forever. It's kind of sad to think about it really, isn't it? Christmas spirit is alive and well everywhere in everyone's communities. We took a little visit down to check out these Christmas lights that go on every year. And people come from all around to check out these lights. You just drive through like, this little neighborhood they come on buses from Toronto to go in and all the little cul-de-sacs and... Do you call it a cul-de-sac here? I don't know what you call them. Where it's just like a dead end and it's just a circle. Drive around and view all the lights. It's good fun. Kids love that. And our little community had their second annual Santa Claus parade. It's not huge. There's not a lot of floats. It's just a bit of fun for everyone to come together and build a float if they want to. Or you invite a bunch of people around and... We had a fire and just spent some time outside, even though it was cold. Great Christmas vibes. Watch all the floats go by. Go sledding afterwards. 
And that will probably do for now, for this year, for this video. Next time we see each other, we'll be in the new year probably. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. Thank you, Tamron, for making a fantastic 35 to 150, which this video was shot with. I haven't decided what I'm using next, but we'll see. That'll do. All right. See you in the next one. Take care.